What's up witches? I'm Ivy Rose and welcome to my channel Ivy Rose Grows Wild. Um, so this video is going to be about um, changing out my goddess of the month altar. Um, I'm in a coven, the Awakened Soul Coven. Um, I'll link the um, website down below so you can check it out if you want. Um, each month we get a new goddess that we learn about um, and we do rituals around it and everything. So it's like a, a big thing. So I like to have a um, altar for the goddess of the month and every month I change it out. Now, I will tell you that I am, here we are January 9th. I'm nine days late to the party. Um, I should have changed it out on the first, but life happens. Um, as you can see, I have a, a child. He's This is uh, my little one. He's my youngest one. Um, and so, yeah, um, life happens, and it is what it is. So here we are now, and it's time to change out my altar. So I just wanted to talk with y'all about who the goddess of the month is and what my thoughts are i'll tell y'all a little bit about about um who the goddess of the month is now i you know like i said i'm in a coven so i am learning um i'm only over a year in so you can consider some people would consider me a toddler witch but um so yeah um like well let me drop this because before i forget but like subscribe to my channel ivory rose grows wild so you can follow me on my witchy journey um so yeah that that's what this channel is mainly about is um following me on my witchy journey um i come from a very strict um christian background i even went to private school so and now here i am as a witch <laughs> And, um, I live in the South, so, you know, it's, it's a little, going through the internet works very well for me right now, <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get on with the program, and I want to share a little bit about who the goddess of the month is for my, for the coven. We'll see buddy well let me uh, get all of this situated okay so um the goddess of the month is now okay let me just show y'all this really quick um Ethany who runs uh, the awakened soul coven um she's uh, my high priestess she designed this deck and it's the awaken the modern goddess oracle deck and like like i was saying like how we have a new goddess every month there's this deck of cards oracle deck is all the goddesses that the awaken soul coven works with and right now for January, let me scoot this back, January 2022, uh-oh, we're having some difficulties. D, D. Let me tighten it just a little bit. Okay, there we go. That's much better. Okay, so, like I was saying, um, the goddess of the month is, for January, January. is Pele. I, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Um, Pele. P-E-L-E. She has, like, a, a Hawaiian vibe. I'm definitely feeling it. I'm definitely feeling the fiery, creative vibe of... January right now. So Pele is the goddess of the month. And I just want to read a little bit in her guidebooks. She has information. She has about the goddess. 
and she has like the divinatory meaning if you was to do an oracle pulling and you got that that goddess you could read the divinatory meaning of it but for Pele um it says she it, her keyword is unpredictable Okay, it says, Pele is the Hawaiian god goddess of fire, volcanoes, violence, lightning, and wind. She is one of Hawaii's most reverend deities and is responsible for its most active volcanoes. She is a powerful god goddess who uses fire and lava to shape the earth. While she has the power to destroy everything in her path from this, everything in her path, from this comes new lush lands. She is also associated with the hula dance. And when it's performed, it's dedicated to her. These dances are often performed in a way that characterizes her passionate, unpredictable, and fiery personality. So that type of energy is perfect to have right now for January. Because right now we're all trying... Um, in the beginning of the month, we was trying to um, create our New Year's resolution, and it gave us fire and passion to start our New Year's resolution. So to ride that wave, you know, you need to embody the creativity mm. of January. So this goddess, Pele, this beautiful Hawaiian goddess, um, she's perfect for January. So yeah, um, I absolutely love that little, um, I absolutely love that little description about her. Let's see, it might, I think I have a little, um, let's see, this also, it also says Pele travels the islands appearing as a tall, beautiful young woman or an old woman sometimes with a white dog she can also take the form of a beggar woman asking for food or drink if you are generous and share with her she will reward you but if you are unkind she will punish you by destroying your home or other valuables so it's always a good thing to give to others <laughs> um she is a powerful goddess who uses fire and lava to shape the earth while she has the power to decimate everything in her path from destruction comes new lush land. Um, she has been active almost continuously for 35 years and has added more than 570 acres of new land to the big island. Pele has both the destructive and creative powers of life. Um, yeah, so our theme also for um, January is Expressive Witch. So it is perfect right now to be working with her because she really ignites and sparks the creativity and drive in us. And I love that. So I would love to know what you, some of y'all New Year's resolutions is um drop that in the comments below that mine is to drink more water um to not diet but to be more mindful of what i'm eating like um when i'm making it not to make it angry or anything like i will be in a positive state of mind while i'm making it and put love into it and that's how i want to do my food more mindfully and then when i eat after I'm done eating, like as I'm full, I'll, okay, I'm stopping, you know, that mindful type of eating. So uh, hopefully I can stick with it and drop a few pounds. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would love to know what, what y'all New Year's resolutions are. Uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and get a little more into it uh, about the altar. So... <coughs> Excuse me, I had to clear my throat. All right, so um, our high priestess makes these beautiful printout pages, and I print them up and I choose to put them all in sheet protectors. And I, it's called the inner circle when you do the goddess of the month and stuff. So, yeah. I do it like that so that it's more organized. 
I like organized. Let's see, let me find my paper. Here it is, setting up your altar. Okay. So her colors are orange, red, yellow, and black, all the bright and vibrant colors of an erupting volcano. Um, the symbols are lava, fire, lay, hula dance, sharks, storm clouds with lightning. Oh, hello. I might be saying that wrong, so sorry if I am. Berries. Sea turtles and a white dog. Um, her crystals and stones are volcanic stone, garnet, rainbow, obsidian, obsidian, smoky quartz, and jet. Her herbs are ginger, allspice, hibiscus, coconut, sandalwood, candela, calendula, I'm sorry, and black cohosh. I'm definitely saying that wrong. Um, and her foods are all fruits and vegetables, honeysuckle, grains, nuts, milk, honey, water, and cakes. Okay, so how I like to set up my altar for the goddess of the month is I like to clear it all out. I wipe it down um, with salt water. Salt is for um, cleansing and protection. So <clears throat> I wipe it all down and then... I, let's see here, it's better. I um, use a little sage or whatever you have at home. And I just do this. Uh, I remove all negativity in this space and area. And that just um, clears all the negative energy. Clear all negative energy from the space. Just clears it all out. So you can start new and fresh. Okay, so I read to you what Pele's um, herbs and stones and her symbols are. So what I do is I look through out my whole altar and I'm like, okay, what can I use to put on for her spot? So I had a few things. I didn't have a lot, um, but um, we're gonna work with it, and that's what being a witch is about: is you use what you have, and you and you make do in it. That's you putting that energy into it even more to make it work when even when that happens. So, so this is all cleared, and now I'm ready to start. So, like I said, one of her symbols was a shark. And my little one right here, he's letting me use his shark head puppet for a few weeks and to sit it on my altar. He's so kind enough to let me use it. So thank you. You're so sweet. All right. So I'm going to put that there. So her deal is shark. She, her, one of her symbols is shark. So maybe I should turn it like this. Yeah, that's more better. And then I also, I use, every time a new goddess of the month come, you know, every month, I pull one of these oracle cards and I use this as a um, picture of the goddess. So, I got that. Um, let's see. Uh, her colors were orange, red, yellow, and black. So, I have an orange tea light candle that I... Um, I did previously burn, but not for magic because that's not something that you want to do. You don't want to burn a candle from an old, from an old spell or whatnot and burn, you know, redo, reuse it. Um, you don't want to do that. But this was just a candle I had light for decoration. So, um, being that her color is orange, I'm going to use this as, um, light i'm like i'm gonna light it and with this beautiful orange it's really no, gonna it's pop beautiful. okay so let's see oh i gotta get more comfortable because i am not <laughs> okay 
So the next thing that I have is my crystals. So I didn't really, I didn't have too many of the crystals that was listed, which was volcanic stone, garnet, rainbow obsidian, obsidian, and black cohosh. I didn't have, I have black obsidian. So this is a black obsidian pyramid. And even though it's a pyramid, it is, um, black obsidian and black obsidian is made from a uh, vol volcano ash so i think that this is to me if you think about it a volcano is this shape it's bigger at the bottom and it comes up smaller at the top so even though it's a pyramid we're going to work with it and to me it's going to be a black obsidian volcano this month so i'm going to stick that here okay and let's see the next okay thank you the next stone i have is a black agate now black agate isn't one of um her stones but it is black and it's one of her color yeah. colors so i did have this so i'm going to also put this on there and can i have some crystals i have two more in there three can you pass them to me? Dang, all three of them. I also have some um, yellow citrine. I have three of these. So I'm also uh, yellow. That's one of her colors. Yellow. I'm going to put that there also. And let's see, that's all the crystals that I have. But so now let's go to symbols again. So I have a shark for a symbol. I have a torch with a, torch. a flame that I've drawn I've drawn for I drawn on for a um ritual ritual I did with the coven um last year with Persephone. So this was a torch and I'm going to choose to put it on my altar on this goddess of the month altar, uh, Pele's altar because of the flame and fire is a symbol of her. She is fire, the eruption in the volcano. So I am going to put that right here onto my altar. Maybe I should put that right there. Yeah. Like that. Okay, excuse me. Thank you, love. Okay, the next thing that I have is I have some herbs. I have hibiscus flower petals, and I also have calendula. So I was um, subscribed to Tames Wild um, subscription box. And um, I also do witchy subscription unboxings on this channel as well. So if you're into that, go ahead and like and subscribe to it. Um, that way you're notified about the videos that I'm going to be making. Um, I do have, uh, I did cancel Tame Wild because that's where this is from. But I did, so I canceled Tame Wild because I've had them for over a year. And now I'm doing witches, the witches roots. Um, because I want to build up my oils, my candles, and my herbs, especially my herbs. So um, I'm doing witches roots, and I still have goddess provisions. So um, I would actually love for y'all to drop down any um, suggestions of me trying different witchy boxes that y'all know of, that y'all have, that y'all, this may be your company, or, you know, I would love to show it. Um, if you have an Etsy store that does the witchy, um, boxes, I would love to try it. So drop it, um, down in the comments below and, um, I'll, I will love to try something new. So yeah, do that. So back to goddess of the month, Pele. Um, so her calendula and hibiscus is two of her herbs and I have that. Okay, and I'm just going to spray. It's actually beautiful. Beautiful. Um, you want to smell it? Maybe not so much. Okay. Let me show y'all how beautiful. It smells like tea. Okay. The yellow is the calendula. And the hibiscus is the red petals. Isn't that beautiful? 
beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to just sprinkle this all over the altar. Twinkle. For Pele. Thank you, Colt. So you separate it just a little bit. Thank you. Okay, so, and there you have it. That's basically all that I really do um, for the Goddess of the Month when I switch out the altars. I do find this really fun to do this. Um, I really enjoy it. I really enjoy being in the coven. Uh, I've been in it for over a year. Like I said, I'm going to link the website in the description box. Um, it has been life changing for me. So yeah, um, these are one of the things we do with the, you know, having a new goddess every month in the coven. And this is what I do. And I just really love it. So yeah. Um, so I would love to end the, ooh, watch out. I would love to end the video with a tarot reading. Okay, watch out my love, watch out. Okay, all right, Shh. can you back up? I gotta put something down. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a little tarot reading to close out the video um, and ask Spirit what um, do we need to know right now? And this is for anybody that is watching the video um, if you found yourself watching this and, um, you've gotten to this point, there may be a message for you. Um, it's something spirit wants you to know. So let's go ahead and do it. All right. So this deck I have right here is called, um, the journey tarot. And let's see, I'm not sure where the box is. I got it from, I don't think it even came with a box. I'm not sure. But I got it from um, Goddess Provisions. It was one of their decks that came in their box during 2021, towards the end of 2021. Um, so I actually really love this deck. I have been feeling its vibes. I've been using this one for a little over a month. I mean, the cords are just gorgeous. I... It's very easy for me to read. I just really, I just really love them. Um, so these are definitely what I've been very drawn to. Um, I haven't felt drawn yet to switch out the decks, but when I do, you'll find out about it. So let's go ahead and find out what Spirit wants you to know right now. Okay. All right. What does Spirit want the collective to know right now? If you're watching this video, what Watch does Spirit me. want you to know right now? Okay, six of cups hanging at the bottom of the deck. It is the Eight of Cups. Eight Cups. Eight, eight of cups. cups. Eight Cups. All right. So. Oh, no. I don't have my book. Start there. No, that's not it. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. So I am learning tarot. Um, I have came a long way from last year when I first got introduced to it. So um, you're following me on my witchy journey in the coven and I'm learning tarot. So I have the guidebook and we pulled the eight of cups. 
And actually, to be honest, it came in reverse. So the Eight of Cups, reverse. But in this guidebook, it only um, talks about it not in reversal. So um, I do also feel drawn to not read it, these cards in reversal. So we're going to see what the Eight of Cups is and what Spirit is trying to tell us. All right, so it says, you've made great progress, but it's okay to walk away from a situation that, that no longer is working. Trust yourself when you feel it's the right time to move on. Other opportunities await. All right, so there you have it. Spirit's telling you, you know, you've came a long way. You've made a lot of progress, a lot of great progress. Um... But it is okay to walk away. Um, sometimes we put a lot of effort into things and we don't get that same effort back. And when that happens, um, it's sometimes it's time to walk away and that's okay. You know, you shouldn't feel guilty for doing what's best for you. So, um, wow, that was, that's a message for somebody. I think that's pretty, um, that pinpoints down to some, that is for somebody directly. I'm not sure, but yeah. Um, so yeah, when trust yourself, trust your intuition. And when you feel inside, when it's the right time to go, go quietly, go peacefully. So yeah. All right. So there you have it. Um, that is my, uh, video for tonight and thanks i want to thank the goddess pele for um allowing me to talk about her and decorate an altar in honor for her so thank you everyone thank you witches for watching this video if you've gotten this far please drop three volcanoes in the comment section below to let me know you've gotten this far um like i said in the earlier in the video please drop your suggestions on different um witchy subscription boxes that you would like me to try and post on here you know i'd love to do that and also if you know any more information about the goddess pele i would love for you to drop your information in the comments below um that way you know that gives me an opportunity to learn even further about the goddess of the month and i think that's awesome and beautiful so thank you have a great night y'all like and subscribe